Okay, I am just leaving Costco. Okay, guys, the wind was so strong that I had to detach the original audio from this uh, clip here. But what I was trying to say, because that wind was so disrespectful, I was trying to find my car. And I wanted to make sure that I could push my cart in between the two cars because I just hate when people are so rude and they leave carts and things all up against your car and things. But yes, so I was leaving Costco and it was a madhouse in there. And I was also saying that the prices are definitely going up. So yeah, let's get back to it. All right, I am gonna pack my trunk and then I will pop in when I get home. Okay guys, I am back home and this was an impromptu visit to Costco. I honestly only uh, went to get salmon and if they had paper towels and toilet tissue and this is what happens but I'm a little proud of myself because I didn't go too overboard. But nevertheless, let me go ahead and share this quick mini Costco haul with you guys. So, okay, let's start with what I was supposed to get. <laughs> so I picked up two bags of salmon. We farmed Atlantic salmon. These are so yummy. And we have them every Saturday. And the prices will appear in the lower left corner, left corner trying to be conscious of my um, articulation and enunciation and pronunciation <laughs> but um come on so then i have a eight pound bag of the family size or ida golden crinkle french fries it's the winter time like the fall and winter time i am getting um uh, like their couch potato, want comfort foods, want heavy comfort foods, because I really don't do french fries too, too much. But in the fall and winter, I've been eating sandwiches more and um, stews and chilies and fries and things of that nature. So yeah, so uh, I got picked up an eight pound bag. That's gonna last me for, if not a year, I don't know what. So then back here, I picked up another one of these um, beef lasagna trays. These are really good. Surprisingly, they were yummy. My last haul, if you have not seen my other Costco haul, I'll try to link it in this video, uh, or link it in the description box below. Um, I picked up this beef lasagna for the first time. I hadn't had it, but since then I have had it, and it is really good. It's, it's um, a nice addition to a quick meal when you don't want to cook or you can't you don't have the time to cook it's a really nice addition so then also which what is a really nice addition is this mac and cheese um their mac and cheese is not homemade but it is um great in a pinch it really is tasty you could still add your own seasonings and things on there and extra cheese cheeses which i did i added my extra cheeses and um, some seasonings and it was really good. So what I'll do is probably cut this in thirds and freeze them. So I picked up another pack of the Kirkland's Lean Ground Beef and these are five individual one pound packages. And they're really, really handy for spaghetti and tacos and chilies and anything you could think of. So I picked up some half and half because the holiday is upon us and Thanksgiving is next week and I will be baking some pound cake. My alarm cut me off but like I said next week is Thanksgiving and I'll be baking some pound cakes and some cobblers and my chocolate cake um, and just stuff. Just baking and using it for various things so I picked up one of those. Then I also picked up some salted sweet cream butter, and then I picked up unsalted sweet cream butter. My hubby loves to use this salted brand, and I love to use the unsalted kind. 
so the next one I saw these they had them on like the corner the little kiosk the roast beef and beef broth it's four cans they normally always have just the tuna or the chicken but when I saw this back in stock I grabbed it the Costco um, the Kirkland brand roast beef I picked that up I just had to grab it because they have been out of the roast beef in my Costco for a while now so I also picked up two loaves of the Martin's potato bread like I said I've been craving sandwiches and things um, and I've been going through my bread um, really well so I'm proud of myself for that no wasting so yes that has served me well served me and the family although the little lady doesn't do sandwiches anymore is what she told me a couple of years ago mommy I don't do sandwiches anymore <laughs> and then for a treat I picked up these milk chocolate raisins they are so yummy when I want a sweet treat and just like a little handful of something sweet, I, you know, that it do the job. So I picked that up. I picked up my um, Kirkland's Organic Chicken Stock. I love this stuff, use it all the time, use it in everything for the most part, rice and uh, making your mashed potatoes, making your grits, just any and everything, stews, uh, stocks, everything. So you can never have enough of that because we're gonna always use it. I have quite a bit on hand, but every time I go, I normally try to grab it. Uh, another thing that I normally try to grab is the rotisserie chicken. You can't go wrong. Like Who can go wrong with the um, seasoned rotisserie chicken from Costco? Um, the price will be down below. I believe it was $4.99 still. Um, but if it's different, the price will reflect it. Then I also picked up some Dole's Mandarin oranges in the cups. The little lady likes to snack on these, so do I. So does the um, nephew and the hubby is not so much, but so I picked that up. I also picked up some um, Kirkland brand kitchen trash bags. It is the 13 gallon and you get 200 and they're pretty good. I've been using them for at least two years now and I have no complaints so I kind of departed from hefty um, and I'm good so yeah and then lastly I bought some more Swiss Miss now I did recently buy a box and I think the last time because they were on sale it was two dollars off so I bought them because of that and I saw it again and bought the same but we have been drinking cocoa we drink it almost every night now because the little lady will request it and i'll go ahead and um indulge her so i bought another one because i know we'll be running through we haven't opened the other box yet but i know we're going to be getting to that box soon so then this will also be a backup for us which would be good so yeah i think that is it i ran to bj's last night and um picked up like some water and some a few things I didn't film that sorry guys I just sometimes like I said life be moving I'll be moving right along with it and I don't always think to pull my camera out but today I said let me go ahead and just do this little haul um, just to you know because I know the halls people like to to see and view the halls it's fun to see what everybody's getting you know but yes Costco was a madhouse today and I got there early um, I got there like around, it wasn't even 10 o'clock, it was about 10, maybe 10. And it was a madhouse, it was a mini line, it wasn't too, too bad when I got to the line, it was just moving. People were just rapidly fouling in to the um, building, but it was crowded. I had to drive around for about five minutes before I could um, find a space. Then though, the Lord always works this way. He just hooks his girl up all the time. I found a space right almost in front of the door. Like a car was pulling out as I was coming right back around. And I turned my blinker, no no cars were um, in front of me and back of me on the side. Nobody was waiting for that spot. So I just waited until the man pulled out and pulled right on in. And then I walked right to the door pretty much. So I love when things like that happens. That just makes me giddy. 
that just makes me know that God looks out for his girl. <laughs> but yes, guys, so thank you guys for watching. I'm starting to ramble. I didn't want this to be too long. But yes, get out there. Go ahead and get shopping. Get your prepping on. Get some back stock for your family. So if we need to hunker down this winter, we have enough food where if we had to not go out, we would be able to, you know, just hunker down and do what we need to do for our family. And I told my husband because he really doesn't understand my madness in a way. But, um, and call, you know, I don't even want to use the word madness, but um, he doesn't understand. I'm going to turn this camera around. Hold on. Okay, so what I was saying was um, that my husband sometimes does not understand the, um, I guess in his eyes, it's like madness or like, why are you coming in with, you know, the food and why are you getting this food? Um, he understands it and he doesn't because we're both shoppers. We love, we both like to shop. But I figure, look, when you buy car insurance, you, you insure your car, people, um, they spend money on what they want. They spend money on, you know, thousands of dollars. They'll invest thousands of dollars in a Louis bag, thousands of dollars in a game, thousands of dollars in a phone. But yet you can't invest money into food to secure your family. So um, sometimes it's even your own family that will look at you if you are a planner um, when it comes to food, especially in the winter time when you are trying to um, just prep and prepare. I wanna make sure that my family is good. And if we had to be locked in, um, you know, we would be okay for a while. So yeah, so that's the method to my madness. And we shop like it's really nothing new. It's nothing new for me. Like I've been doing this forever. And so has he. He's been doing it forever. Um, shopping like we're both especially on the weekends we'll both he'll go his way I'll go my way he'll go to Walmart I'll go to you know Walmart and all my other little stores and then we come in with bags and bags and bags and bags of things but that's before I started really organizing my items and organizing my food and making my pantries um, make sense for the house and um, allocating spaces for different things so yeah guys so I just wanted to pop on here and um, share this quick mini Costco haul. Okay. And I'm just wishing you guys blessings, wishing you guys health and prosperity, comfort and joy from my heart to yours. Until the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.